Chin Chin, and welcome back to Cooking with Mo Wino. I'm at the bar because I just uh, poured myself a little bit of cognac because that is the theme of our cooking uh, with Mo Wino today. Uh, I am at the bar, which is all decked out in red, white, and blue after a very patriotic week of celebrating Independence Day. Now we are moving into our French forefathers and uh, my great-grandmother actually was a French pianist and uh, we are getting ready to cook up a storm of French uh, food and drink French wine in celebration of the French Revolution uh, Bastille Day. So I, you have seen now most of the ingredients and we are going to now compile what I call Moe's truffles. Now I am not a baker. I don't temper chocolate. I don't do all this. This is the um, easiest truffles I've ever made. And if you Google it, you'll find that the cookie recipe um, comes from uh, a major uh, cookie house we all know and love, but they are sandwich cookies. And um, you mix them in with some cream cheese. But what gives them the Mo Wino touch is Normally at St. Patrick's Day, I add a little bit of Irish whiskey and I decorate them in green and white for my St. Patty's Day party, but we are going to make them French and we are going to have some cognac in our truffles. So come along, let's go back into the kitchen and put together some deliciousness. Cheers. So after I put in the food processor my cookies and my cream cheese and my dash of cognac, I um, then chilled the dough. What we're going to do is now roll into one inch balls our truffles. So basically you want to make sure that they're all about the same size. So and with clean hands. Just gently rolling our truffle. I just put my tray of truffles in the um, freezer. So I didn't get to finish because my dough was starting to get hot from the heat of my hands. So I still have some here. So I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it firm up a bit, take a little breather, and I'm going to give you just a little bit of tips on um, putting libations into your truffles. The first time I ever made this, I was afraid of making the um, dough too soupy. So I only used one tablespoon of, uh, actually I probably did a half a tablespoon and then a second half um, to test it out. So you need to accommodate that um, in your personal preference of the, the moisture, but you really don't want it to get too wet. So don't overpower with too much liquid. Also, if you don't want to put any booze or wine in it at all, then just make them plain because that's actually the original recipe. So this time I had my little shot glass and I didn't measure I just kind of free pour it as you saw from the video I think I might have put a little too much so it is uh, sometimes you can leave out a few of the sandwich cookies um, so that you could create some uh, crushed toppings I was going to discuss that later but if you feel like you have too much moisture in your dough add more cookies so you might want to just save a, the original recipe actually tells you to I think hold back nine of them to make um, black uh, cookie dust to cover them up but I'm not I don't do that so you can try that and it gives you a little safety net so you could put them in and add and make just more dough or you can use them to fix your dough with a little more dryness so like I said the first time I did this I put in a half a tablespoon and then I continued with another half a tablespoon. And this time I free poured because I've been actually making these for years. But I think I put a little too much. But the key is in between making them and actually mixing the dough in the food processor, 
and making them put them in the refrigerator or freezer because they got to get cold to stay firm. Also, if you don't have a food processor, no problem. Just use your handy dandy hand mixer and uh, it'll work. But the key here is that you have to have your cream cheese at room temperature to soften it up. Otherwise it won't work. And I don't use whip. I use block cream cheese when I do this. Um, but whip might work just as easy. So we're going to let them chill and then we'll come back. Cheers.